Patrick, where are you? Oh, it's a tough one. Yes. We'll pick. Hey, we're out. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Pascal, I'll go with my scouts this time. Yes, Pascal. We're gonna pick Pascal Siakam. Welcome to the Zachary. Here you go. Siakam, there's two things that he brings to the table. He's already an NBA ready rebounder. And he's an NBA-ready defender. He just has to learn the schemes and all that. And the offense will come. Once he called my name, I was just, like, surprised a little bit. But And then my first assignment on defense was he got Kevin Durant. So it's like, wow. You know, that was like a welcome. Like a, that's like a real welcome to the NBA. Here's Durant, guarded by the rookie Siakam. And how about that on the inside? Impressive. It feels good, you know. It feels good to just be there and know that, you know, I know he's watching me. It's, it's kind of tough going through it, but like at the same time, it's, it's happiness because you know he's wa it's still watching me, you know, even if he's not there. Game one of 82 for the Toronto Raptors. It all starts tonight. This is going to be a special night for one Pascal Siakam. Absolutely. Young man getting his first start in the NBA. I love the move by Dwayne Case and the coaching staff. Look, you need some energy. You need a guy there that don't command the ball. This is a great opportunity for this young man. And somewhere down the line, when Sullinger comes back, it's going to pay off big for the Raptors. I'm from Cameroon, it's in um, Central Africa, and then um, just grew up there, I had three brothers, two sisters, and I, I mean, it was just fun, it was fun growing up, you know, um, just being a kid and, and running around and, and playing, you know, I, I had a lot of energy growing up, and, and no matter the struggle and everything, we always try to find a way to, to have fun and just enjoy life. I have three brothers. Um, James went to Vanderbilt, uh, Christian, IUPUI, and Boris went to Western Kentucky. And um, they all left before me. You know, I was still back home. They came, they went to high school here um, and, and, and went to college. So it was just, it's just, I think for me, it's just so important to have them because they kind of know, they understand, they're basketball players too, and, and they can kind of like guide me through this journey. And, you know, we're super close. And, and I think I, I feel blessed to have them, you know. I, as a part of who I am and, and, and just going through the journey. So he's a great man, just, just a genuine person, always trying to help people. Sometimes you feel like, we, we all feel like, man, he, he gave love to other people more than he did to us. That's just how it is, you know, he just, he always wants to make sure everybody around him is good, and, and, and I think just having me as a father and then having him, you know, trying to make me like a better person, like it was just, it was just great to have him. And, and I'm so, you know, I'm so blessed to have him as a father because of the person he is, you know. He loved basketball and always tried to like, you know, have one of his sons play in the NBA, you know, and, and that was something so big for him and he talked about it every day. So, I mean, that's why, like, for me, this moment is, like, more, even more special because it's not just me. It's, it's not me growing up as a kid and dreaming about being like Kobe or being like LeBron James, you know. Um, it's, it's like a family dream, and, 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 and that's why it's so, so important for me. I started back home, Lungba Mute, um, he had a camp uh, in Cameroon. 
I think, I mean, I, have, I had a couple of friends that were going there, you know. I think that's when it all kind of started because, like, I, I felt like it was, it was a little bit fun. And then I went to uh, Basketball Without Borders in South Africa. And it was, it was awesome there, too, you know, seeing NBA. I think that's where it kind of all started because seeing NBA players and, 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 and all this NBA personnel, you kind of, like, feel like, man, this is, this is awesome, you know. I, I wish I could be a part of this, you know. So that's how, how it all started. And then my dad could help me find a scholarship to go to, go to a prep school in, in Texas. Went there, got recruited by New Mexico State, and, you know, ended up here. I think when I found out it was, I think it was in the morning, it was in the morning. I was, re I was getting ready to go to class. Um, and, and I mean, the night before first, I mean, I think I had a missed call from my dad. So like, and, and I mean, I was in practice and, and, and everything was going on. So I, I couldn't call him back. When I called him back, they didn't pick up, you know, the difference of time and everything. So I went to sleep, woke up in the morning, was getting ready to go to class and, um, I just, I had like, I think it was my sister, she probably she called me or someone texted me and, and it was just like, it was crazy, man. It was just all blank. Cause it was so sudden, you know, and, and um, I just, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. Like I, I was just laying there in bed and, and um, it was just a tough moment, you know, because, and, and I mean, I had great support, you know, but at that moment, I felt alone, you know, it was, it was crazy. And, and the fact that I missed his call the day before even made it harder, you know, because I felt like maybe he needed me at that moment and I wasn't there. I can't, I can't even, you know, it's, it's crazy. It was just a crazy day. And, 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 and I'm just so blessed to like, you know, to have so many people that care about you. And that, I think that, that made it easier for me. <laughs> My dad, you know, he loved basketball and always tried to, like, you know, have one of his sons play in the NBA, you know, and, and that was something so big for him. And that was his dream. Like, he, he dreamed about this. And, and he, he tried to make, you know, put us in a position to accomplish that goal. He's not here now. I know he's watching over me and, and he's, he's so happy. But I feel really good about it. You know, I feel like I'm the chosen one, you know, because I was able to make that dream become a reality. And, and, and the fact that I'm doing it for, for him is just like, it gives me more, you know, more fire and, and, and just every time I just think about him, you know, it's like, you have to go harder. You can't, you can't relax. You have to work even harder, you know? So it's, 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 it's definitely, definitely helpful for me. Gotta make a call here. Drive night, man, was crazy. It was a weird day, like, to be honest. Um, I woke up, I, I mean, my brothers came to Orlando. We're all in Orlando. Um, and and we were just, I mean, the whole day, we were just sleeping, kind of like. Everybody was in bed, we were just chilling. And then at night, we went to a restaurant and, and, and we watched the, the, the draft there, you know. So I was just sitting there, I mean, I didn't know where I was going to end up. 30 seconds. Pascal, I'll go with my scouts this time. Yes? Yes, Pascal. You want to pick Pascal Siakam. At the 27th pick, we, we had a, <laughs> it's a big group of guys that we liked. There were a lot of guys who kind of fell there. Pascal intrigued us just because of his motor, his energy, um, his work ethic. Um, we felt like we needed a, a young big that had that kind of unique sort of skill set and passion for the game. Um, so. We, uh, we had a little bit of a debate, but we, we ended up going with Pascal. I think we're, we got a really good player. They got my name called, and it's crazy. From then, I don't. I was just sitting there. I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. I was sitting there. My brothers was jumping around. Everybody was going crazy, but I was just there. Like I didn't know where I was, and and it was just you know so much like joy, and, and you know everybody was crying. Like it was just so exciting, and and um and I like did like I definitely remember for the rest of my life. Pascal, <laughs> you okay? It's gonna be great. You gotta come in here and, and, and work, work your ass off, okay? You know how it is. I know it's been, I, I know it was your dad's dream and your dream, so um, okay, come here and 
be be the best that you can possibly be. You know you know how we are. We we get opportunity and you gotta use it. You gotta use it the best that you can. Okay. You're not just gonna be in the NBA. You're, you're going to be a good NBA player. Great M. You got you gotta work as hard and hard and hard as you can every day in the gym. Every single day. Yeah. Not a lot of people know know about me, and, and I mean, going to New Mexico State again, and not not a high power conference or whatever. So, I mean, definitely, I definitely have that chip on my shoulder, you know, to be to just go out there and, and, and show that I belong, you know, and, and that going to New Mexico State has nothing to do with talent or, or what you're able to do. So, um, I definitely feel like I'm ready, man. It's gonna be a lot of new stuff for me and I think it will just be exciting, you know. It's gonna be a learning process for me. I know I'm ready, you know, I know I can help this team right now. And I also knew that I have a long way to go. So I'm just excited. Let's go. Yeah, come on man. Whoa! Cristiano. He's given Lewandowski. I love when they say his name. <laughs> Let him ask you. That's, that's Lucas' favorite thing to do, <laughs> to say. Let him ask you. Let him ask you. Oh my. Finish it. Oh my god. Oh my. Yo, what the? Hey. Um, usually just chill all day, like mostly. Like if I don't go to a city where like I know people, like you know in Charlotte, like I don't know anybody here. So um, usually I stay in the hotel, um, just watch movies or anything like that. I'll play usually, mostly when I have my PS4, just play all the time. And then um, and then that's mostly it. I mean, if I don't get to the gym, because usually you know we can go to the gym even when we don't have practice. I can, you know, go to the gym with a, with, a, with a coach or something like that. So I usually go to the gym and get some shots up a little bit. Um, so, that, yeah, that's mostly it. That's mostly my day, I guess. Um, I think, I mean, it's, it's one thing. I mean, I, that's all, like, I, I knew from the beginning, you know, it's like you know something and obviously you get that, but it's one thing to, like, just know and then, like, being in a situation and, like, you know, you can you can say in your head like you're gonna prepare for something, you know. But once it gets there, that's the moment where you, you can really see it, you know, happen. And and I mean, it's like you said, it's been up and down, man. It's it's been an up and down season, and that's how the NBA season is gonna be, especially for a rookie like me. And um, in a short amount of time, I got to see like both sides, you know. I got to see being a starter for 20 plus game, and and you know, getting six minutes in the game or not even playing at all, you know. So I've seen both sides and I think it just, you know, helped me help, help me mature a little bit, you know, just know that it's this league is, is you know, it's, that's the league, you know, and, and there's days you're going to play and there's days that you're not going to play and you just have to, like, keep working hard. I got down on myself, you know, not being able to play anymore and, and things like that, but you have to just stick with your routine and, and keep doing the same things that got you to where you are right now. And, and that's what I'm trying to do right now, you know. I'm trying to be the same guy, you know, keep cheering for my teammates and, and you know, just keep working hard and keep being a good teammate. Yeah, work life, man. Um, can't wait till it's over for sure. But no, nah, it was it was good, man. I'm glad I had those guys. To, to go through it with, and, and I think it would have sucked on your own being the only rookie. So to have those two guys, and obviously, you know, uh, there's kind of like a rank in order with us three, with with Jakob being being the one that gets probably the most flat because he was picked top 10 and, and all the way down to me. Our office, like, I was out there in my freshman year, like, play defense and, like, get an offensive rebounds and, like, play pick and roll. Like, there wasn't no, like, post. -up. I mean, it's great, man. I think. You know, in the beginning, you come in, you, you meet, like, I mean, there's new people, you meet people, and it's, like, it's always hard, you know? I mean, I, I've always been, like, an easygoing guy, so, like, it, it hasn't really been hard for me, like, to make friends and things like that. But, you know, coming in, you know, you don't want to step, like, on anybody's foot. You, you're trying to watch what you do and, like, you know, just trying to figure out everybody and, like, what everybody does. Um, but, you know, I think it was great, man, having those two, you know, Fred and, and, and Jakob, you know, great people, I mean, like, 
we like, I, I feel like I always have the time of my life when I'm with them. 90 Luftballons auf ihrem Weg zum Horizont hielt man für UFOs raus im All. Darum schickt er ein General. Na, 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 I don't know anymore. That's all I got. They're always like, there's always going to be that something. Like, we shared a rookie season. Like, um, I think not, not many guys like have two guys on a team like that that they can share their rookie experience with and like that are always around. Like, if you think about it, like, of course, like all three of us like played some D League, but like for the most part, we're all three of us were always here and like together and like doing this together basically. Those three, you know, have, have grown with me as brothers this year and it's been. Uh, really fun to to have someone that's going through the same things as you as a rookie and and that you know you can also count on off the court as well. It's great to have you know guys like that that you don't know and you just come in and 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 you know you, you probably become friends for the rest of your life, man. It's, it's something and that's something about the NBA, you know, the brotherhood and, and, and having these guys that you, you you spend time with every day is like your family basically. Like I've known all them so much better, like. Uh, I want to say Pascal's almost like my best friend on his team, so I think a lot of that comes from just sharing the experiences together. Hey, y'all know what we do at home. We protect home. Yep. We go out here, we, we short three men tonight. Let's go out here, so everybody step up. Next man up. Let's go out here, we play our ass off. One on three. One, two, three, we're in! First of two meetings between the Toronto Raptors and the Dallas Mavericks. This is the third and final game of a three-game homestand and a stretch of five of six at home. For the Toronto Raptors, it's Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, Pascal Siakam. What's up, Open Jim? What's going on? What's going on? What do we got today? The start of the season for the Raptors has been very impressive. Uh, you know, cohesiveness on the defensive end of the floor is um, really caught my attention early on. And, Obviously, you know, leadership with uh, Kyle Lowry, all-star Raptor, you know, big trade with Kawhi. Um, a lot of good pieces returning that uh, really impressive, you know, to start. And uh, whenever a team can get off to a great start like they have, you know, they're going to only be able to build from there. It's a shot doesn't go green with it. Here's Kyle pushing it. Siakam runs the floor. Runs it better than Pascal Siakam. As a soccer player was Pascal Siakam to the age of 17. Had a massive growth spurt, and that's when he started to play the game of basketball. Of course, his older brothers came to the U.S. to play basketball. But he was a soccer player. The first thing, I guess the, the first thing that comes on my mind is, uh, remember the scary movie you used to watch? And <laughs> it was like some Nigerian like movie, oh, and we got Pascal to watch it. With <laughs> He was like, so scared. Was so we used scared. to lock him in a room and watch it, and like, he, was used to, yo, like, he used to be so mad at us. <laughs> I don't know why you did that to him, man, but he was like, you should be scared or something. I was like, no, you got to watch it. No matter why, you got to watch it. Now, yeah. don't care if he's scared or not. Like, it was crazy. My <laughs> father used to hate it. He used to hate us for that. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> I don't remember that, bro. I don't recall one story. Wow. Why, why are you scared? Don't, don't be scared. I don't, I don't know what you're gonna say. I don't know. One story about um, about James. Wow. So James, so James would go to class, right? <laughs> with a full backpack with books, uh, like <laughs> everything, like pencil, um, like I don't know, all all this, like whatever you go to school with, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to, because it was a little walk home, right? And he has to walk wow. home. And James will go from the school <laughs> to the house without his backpack. <laughs> so he would leave his backpack in school and then walk all the way from the school to home without remembering that he forgot his backpack. Like a big book bag, like a, like a you know, like you go to, when you're like a kid and you go with like a big ass book bag, James would go to class and walk home and forget he had a backpack. Like, like how do you even do time. that? The whole time. Like, you, if James could forget his head, like, it is possible that you can take your head and put it somewhere here and, and forget it. James would forget his head. <laughs> Christian, as a kid, right? Like, 
<laughs> so after you know, like at the end of like you know what I'm saying, like the, the school year or whatever, you bring your your, oh. your, your report card home. <laughs> you wanna do this? So so you bring your report card home, you right? This so you bring your report card home, like everybody, you know, so you bring you bring it to our dad or our mom or whatever, and like you got to present. Okay, I did this. Yeah, man, I got an A. I got this. I got that. And like oh, the way man, the number wow. system for us, we use numbers. We use numbers, so it's like from one to twenty. So Christian. <laughs> He was, he would, he would fail and then <laughs> falsify. And then falsify, falsify. he's like that, whatever, whatever he got, he just add numbers and stuff. Don't and made it seem like he, he passed. Don't That's do that, him. man. Come yeah. on, you can't, you can't be saying that. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, <laughs> man, you can't be saying that like that though. You can't say that like that. Why? You can't say that like that, man. Here's falsify. That's him. What First of all, he was like. Every single morning, this guy will wake up and just like, oh, I'm, I need to eat. And we had to figure out who's going to cook for him <laughs> that, that morning. It was the, the most annoying thing ever. ever. Oh, mom, I, I need, I need a, a coffee or what, what would you what say? Like, like, like hot chocolate. Like, like, hot chocolate. Like, like hot cocoa. I need hot cocoa. Yeah, every single morning. Mom, mom, I need hot cocoa. <laughs> hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Yeah, and, and we just look at each other like, okay. okay. And my mom was like, hey, can somebody get him hot cocoa? And we would like try to like run figure away, out. like trying to figure hey, out who's going to make happen, it. That's man, when you're a good kid. And we get beat up because we wouldn't do it. Like yeah. we get beat up literally because of this guy. So we, uh. 12 point lead. Siakam, what a great spin move. That's great fielder, man. Into the body, spinning away from the pressure in that quick drop step. You know, my brother, uh, older brother, was uh, came and stayed with me during my NBA uh, career um, in the cities that I played in. So it's very beneficial to have a sibling there who you grew up with, um, knows you, uh, you know, your all your ins and outs. Uh, it's very helpful and, and also, you know, almost like a comfort. Um, you know, when, you're, when the world is moving really fast, you need people there to help slow it down for you, and that's what uh, family does. Everyone needs someone you can rely on, I think, in this job too, particularly as an NBA player, not having been one. <laughs> but I think uh, there's a lot of stuff that swirls around. A lot of people, you know, want to be around you, want to tell you what you think you want to hear, maybe, um, so they can be around you. And, you know, I think the ones who really excel and get ahead are the ones who understand that reality is still real. And, you know, having a couple of older brothers, mentors, who knew him when he was a little one and kind of seen him come over and understand what his background was like, how he was raised, what was important, you know, that, that, can't, that can't be anything but good. That can't be anything but good. Like, I mean, like, for me, I'm, like, what I admire about it, I mean, Christian is like, cause he lives with me and like, you know, he's always with me and he's around me, Christian, Big Hezzy. Um, and like, for me, it's just like him being here and like, you know what I'm saying, helping me out throughout, you know, whatever you know, like is going on and he's always there for me and whenever I need something, he's always there. Even like, remember as a kid, he was always like the one that was always like closer to me and like, you know, so um, like having him here is like really, you know, a big deal for me just cause I have somebody that I can talk to or like, and, and in that sense, you know, he's always been like that big brother. James, like, because we're not that that far apart, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've always been, like, kind of like, 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 we had, like, that little buddy relationship a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, like, since we're not, we, we're pretty close, like, in age, and we, we always, like, you know what I'm saying, hung, hung out more. And when, like, everybody else left, he was the only one that was back home, you know? And um, so with him, we, had, we always had that relationship, and, like, I can talk to him really about anything, and, and I can always, like, expect him to give me, like, like, a, like, you know what I'm saying? Honest opinion about everything. Just the way he carry himself. For like somebody who's that young, like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he get away with a lot of, you know what I mean? Like, he got away with a lot of like different stuff in life. And I think he's so strong, man. Like, that's just something that like, I'm out with him. He's so strong, he always want to get better every year. You know what I mean? He always want to prove like, I mean, let's say prove people wrong, but he want to prove himself that, okay, I can get better, I can do this. You know what I mean? I want to be better. Like, you know what I mean, like the next person. So I'm just like, for me, it's just like, and he's very, very nice, man. Like, people don't know that. A lot of people think, like, <laughs> he's a very, very cool guy, man, to be around. And 
I'm, I'm me being protective of him. Sometimes I don't even need to because you already know exactly what you want. You know what I mean? Like we, we can like connect like easily. Sometimes I want to say something, you already know what I want to say. So it was just like, so it's so like, it's so easy. I, don't, and I love him, man. I love him, man. Toronto Raptors for the first time in the franchise history will begin the season 6 and 0. They win their first six games of the season. Good job. Uh, you know, they only took 30 threes. Pretty good job. Kept them underneath that. Kept them under 42 percent. So it's a good job. We did what we were trying to do. Got tomorrow off. Got treatment at the time. 11. Whoa. Silver treatments at 11. Yeah. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. Everybody, come on. Here we go. Reps. One, two, three, reps. Good job. I mean, I think we have you know, a lot of work to do. You know, I think you know our, our defense you know, can get a lot better and you know uh, stretches where you know they, they score a lot of baskets there. Um, but you know, I think that's 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 what the regular season is for. You know, just learning, getting better um, for when it really matters. Thank you, Oliver, sir. We just understand each other. Like like to be honest with you, like it's so easy. We talk about everything. And usually we discuss like everything, and and it's like it's just easy that like, we we'll, we'll talk for hours like about nothing. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's mostly like that. So like it's so easy to talk to them, and and you know we just got that connection that's like, like uh, that bonding that we, we don't try at all. It's like it's just there. Basketball. That was gonna say that next. Uh, it's probably the common denominator here. Like I think we share the same interest. So it's easy to talk about the things that you love with the people that you love. I think a lot of people from like, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of families can get into a lot of players' head. And you know, like families tell you stuff about, oh, what you're supposed to do. Oh, you should, man, you should play. Oh, coach, coach not playing you. You should like, you know, you should do this or do that. But I think like, you know, like that's what people mistake a lot. Like you, we gotta, and that's something I always try to put that boundary, you know, like when I talk to them, just cause like, I don't want them to cross that. Like I want them to, obviously tell me what they think about my game sometimes and, and things like that, but like I just, sometimes I don't want to talk about it just because I want to deal with it by myself. And and if coach is not playing me, it means I'm doing something wrong. That's always the way I look at it. And I try to do better to get better. So like, I don't, he's never going to tell me, oh, oh coaches did this or blah, blah, blah. Like we try to get away from that. And, and after games, bad, good, Depending on what it is, sometimes I just want to go home and we talk about everything, like nothing, like nothing basketball, basketball related. related. And, and I think that really helped me a lot, you know, doing like everything. I'm down there just winning, you know. I'm always on time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're about to be, we like five minutes away though, it's not far. Say again? The hotel is like five minutes away. Okay. Yeah, so we should be there. Yeah, all right, all right. How does that scare you? Oh, no, man. I try. All right, bro. I think we got to get another car though. You got one? I got one right here. Damn, I don't even got Uber Black or nothing. I know, maybe the select one is the, the most like, I got a select one, it got me a tie house. Right here. Huh? Right around the corner. Right? Yeah, it's five minutes. It's close, no? Yeah, it's real close, yeah. Uh, uh, this, 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 is, this is my city now, I'm just kidding. But uh, we're in San Antonio, you know. Um, and I got a little history with, you know, this type of, type of cities, you know, coming from New Mexico State, Las Cruces. Kind of a little similar. Um, but yeah, man, we just going to dinner right now. Me and the boy Jakob, I got my boy D right in the front, you know what I'm saying? Uh, up, make sure, you know what I'm saying, we, we out here. Um, just getting some food, uh, catching up a little bit with the, the crew. We got Norm, Fred coming too, so should be fun. It'd be weird, I don't know. I think it'd be weird um, just because, like, that's kind of like we all, that's all we know, like, just playing playing with each other, like, you know, the benchmark of all that. And uh, now we got to play against each other. It'd be, it'd be a little different, like, sending him in a different jersey. Uh, I don't know, but it should be fun though, like a fun game. I think it'll be, it'll be exciting. Um, just a lot of emotions going on, <laughs> uh, different sides. <laughs> I got my popcorn ready. You got um, your popcorn? <laughs> I get front row seats to this. That's 
It's gonna be a showdown. It'll be a showdown for sure, you know. So um, I, I heard the TV game too, so you know, it makes it even um, more. So it'll be fun. Oh, you know, San Antonio, man, it's, it's looking nice right now. Yeah, this is a little yeah, weird. This I know y'all can't got no haircut. Yeah, y'all got, got hair everywhere. <laughs> like, you know, he probably got no haircut, that's for sure. Wait, listen. This is the engine, the engine, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you got a private table, man. You not? You ain't got a private table for us? You need a private table? Come on, man. You got a private oh, man, joint, man. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Yeah, that's good. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. You know, hey. Y'all want to sit in the middle of the restaurant, yeah. man. You Yaka, man. You Yaka Fuddle. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, this. I was, was going to go talk to Jacob a little bit, but I was like, he had the headset on. I'm like, I'm not trying to bother him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a bigger deal than what it is. You need, you need, a, you need a, the big joint. You know, the big time table. You big time now, man. So, pretty normal, I come in? Uh, they come in. They come in. They don't wait. They got a little bit more. Hey, what's up, man? Big ugly. What's up, big dog? Yeah. You too. Oh, my guy? <laughs> How you doing, man? What's good? It's my friend. Welcome. You couldn't pick us up, man? That's crazy. What did I say? What did you, I, I said good. Did I not offer? Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah, at the games mostly, you know, like kind of check on like how he's doing and, 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 and how he's playing and, and stuff like that. So I think, you know, it's always like basketball related first, like just making sure that each other is good, like playing well. And if I have like a couple of things that I see, you know, I can like tell him, you know, I, I can probably help him and, and he does the same too. So, um, so that, that, that is good. And then um, he was here like for Christmas, you know, to see his sister and like we hung out and stuff. So that was cool too. Yeah, I would I would definitely got a house while I was here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I would have got a house, that's for sure. By yourself though? Why not? Oh yeah, that's that's true though. That, I thought about it too, by myself, man. You gonna be you gonna be like the lonely event. <laughs> <laughs> like ten rooms for nobody. You're sitting there by yourself doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can pay yeah. anyway, so we can order yeah. everything. It's your city, city, bro. <laughs> Come on man. Hey, hey, this is it, man. You got it, I can gotta pay. That might got it. Yeah, no, big dog, sure. you know. If you come to my city, Cameroon, I'm, I'm gonna take her up. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So many Raptor fans making the journey here to the East Bay. Siakam with the bucket, and he's got 26. There's a new NBA champion, and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. We the North are now we the champions. The Raptors, the 2019 NBA champs. The 2019 NBA champions, the Toronto Raptors. Pascal Siakam, a man who a year ago we talked about this. You, you couldn't stay on the floor, and yet in the games that mattered, game one and game six, you were sensational. So how do you grow that much in such a short period of time, and what's it been like celebrating this with these men? Oh, uh, man, um, it's, it's been an unbelievable experience for me, just learning every single day from these guys. And, and you know, it's my first rodeo, you know, being, being at this stage. And, and every single day, every single game in the playoffs, I keep getting better, I keep learning, I keep improving. What's up, Open Gym? What you got to say, bro? <laughs> open Gym, talk to me. Talk to talk me, to you. Open Gym. <laughs> we here, man. Oh my God, bro. I, look at my height. <laughs> you got me low, low. <laughs> You're not gonna hit your knees, are you? Oh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> we, we, we put in a lot of work and, and you know, when you, when you put in the work in, yeah. You have confidence in your work and, and and have confidence that things are gonna happen for you, you know. So I had that confidence from the beginning but then obviously it grew, you know, with the season and like being able to have big games or like, you know, seeing that seeing yourself perform, like you know, it gives you like a little boost of confidence. But but from the beginning it was always there, the belief was always there. You know what I mean? Getting a little cut cut, my man Rocky right here, open gym, baby. I don't know what they're doing over there, but um, we out here, man. Uh, NBA Awards, 
just, you know, get a little fresh, that's all. And when you go out there, you, you want to, like, you want to be able to, like, sustain that. Like, you just don't want to be one of those, like, you won and then the next year you're terrible, you know? Like, you want to be able to, like, you know, kind of sustain it and, and hopefully get to, to that level again. That's, like, the, it's so amazing when you win it and it's the, the most, like, like, amazing thing. But once it, like, it hates you that you want, you want it, and once you get back to like thinking as like a uh, a, um, a professional and a guy that, that always want to get better, the, the next step is to win it again. It's to go to that level again. Like, and and that's that's your goal. Like, it's sweet, but then it, it kind of goes away, and, and it's like, okay, like let me let me try to see if I can get to that level again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me right, baby. Let me get me right, baby. <laughs> baby. Yeah, I like that. I had a little manny pedicure yesterday, man. You got him feet? You get him feet? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna show you, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm a simple guy, I guess. I was just want a little, little red, you know, Raptors, obviously. I mean, Cameroon is also in there, everything, my shoes. Got a little um, green, red, yellow. Um, you know, just just where I'm from, kind of. I think it was just cool. I didn't want to wear like a classic dress shoe, so just some some little nice and a little red to to go with it. And uh, that was it. I would not do this again, man. <laughs> Get his camera. job description right here. <laughs> Jack of all. There we go. Thank you, sir. Get this on camera, man. I'm not going to do this again. Next time, it's perfect. The only reason I'll do this again. MVP. Or... <laughs> I see many more awards. I see many more awards in my future. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully something way bigger. My mom right here, Mom Dukes, you see the fit? You make sure you get the fit, make sure you get the fit, you know what I mean? The African queen, we out here. <laughs> she, she came out, you know, make sure everything cool for us. Uh, my sister, Raisa, right here. Big brother, Boris. Uh, Y'all yeah, know Christian, you see him every day. I don't have to introduce him, but... Um, so yeah, but we, have, we don't have Vanessa and James, but this is what we have, it's our crew right here. So. Yo, yo. What's up, man? We out here. Yo, Boris. The handsome one. I mean, obviously, like, I always try to get better, man, every single year. And I think my goal would be to get, get better. I don't like to fix exact goals individually, you know. But as a team, I think, you know, we want to win again, obviously. But um, for me, it's just continue to work on things that I need to work on to be a complete player. Like, that's, that's my next step. Like, whatever that is, and like, I mean, obviously, I, I kind of have an idea of what that is, you know, but I just want to be, like, the best player I can be and, and do everything that I can do to be a complete player. All right, I'm with the champion, Pascal. Congratulations Thank in you. person. Thank you, I appreciate it. I think Thank Kawhi you. said he was going to celebrate with desserts and lots of alcohol. <laughs> How have you been celebrating? Uh, a lot of tacos and pizza. So <laughs> that's, my, that's my thing right there. <laughs> when you look back at this crazy finals run, the big game you had in game one, and then ending the finals with 26 points in a championship, I mean, you haven't had a lot of time to reflect, right. but when you look back on it, what, what was the most exciting moment of it all? Uh, I mean, I think. You know, just kind of like knowing that you're a champion. I think that was the best part. Um, we worked so hard for something, and and finally being able to achieve it is a, is a, um, it's something incredible. You can't explain, but I think that moment, knowing that you won, is kind of like the best moment. To me, I'm here. Like I, I, my family's here. You know, like just just hoping to have a good time and um, enjoying ourselves. And like, you know, it's, it's an accomplishment just to be here anyway. You know, um, obviously you want to win, but. You know, I think that's not gonna like validate who I am as a player or like it's gonna make me, you know, like <laughs> at the end of the day, I know, you know, I have, it's a bigger picture, I have a bigger goal to all this and, and, and I'm gonna continue to improve no matter what. So like, whatever happens tonight, like has no effect on me whatsoever. Like, 
it would be cool to win it, but. And the Kia most improved player is? Pascal Siakam. I kind of wish, you know, sometimes I always pray that, you know, I wish he can be here just for one day to be able to experience all this. He'll be so excited. We know he's above us and watching over us, and and, and we know that he's happy. That we, you know, we know that he's happy. But, you know, we we have mom here too, so it's exciting. I, I really don't have no word to really describe how I feel right now. I'm so happy for him and, and, and so proud of him. Dad just came home one time with a Kevin Garnett tape and I started watching it. For some reason, I didn't, and I decided, that, okay, this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do something different. And I started playing. I was the first one who really started to guy into it with everything. And then, uh, uh, and then I told Dad about uh, my goal to be able to go to the U.S. and study and also play basketball. So it kind of worked out both ways for Dad because Dad was so focused on education and, and be able to go to school and do what you need to do. So it, it just happened that both together, you know, it was a, it was a perfect plan if you will. So um, I decided to go and then uh, Christian picked it up, James picked it up and Pascal started with soccer. He really wanted to be a soccer player. He's still, he's still really good at it. Um, and then and then I guess he had his moment, you know, where basketball became his, you know, his thing. He grew up, you know, most like most Cameroonian kids, you know, uh, he actually went to school in my village. Uh, you know, the city close to my village for many years at a monastery there, uh, which is pretty interesting, you know, and, uh, you know, when you, when you live in these conditions, um, you really learn good habits like discipline, you know, and I think um, you, you can tell, and he comes from a great education. All his brothers are guys who have been successful, um, kind of paving the way for him as well. He's, he had good models. All those guys that are going over uh, in the U.S., played basketball, they had great careers in college. And, um, you know, now he's coming in into a good environment, you know, a stable situation. Obviously, the loss of his dad was, was huge for them. And, um, you know, he still carries it around. But, um, you know, I think that also helped him a lot. And it, it also helped fuel his motivation uh, to make it for his dad. And I think, uh, you know, a kid who has that kind of motivation early is always great. And uh, I think, man, he's, you know, he's, he's going to be unbelievable, man. And he's already done great things. And, you know, I think, um, you know, all his background and what he's gone through early in his, his life is really helping him get who he is today. And it's not, it's not easy. It's not that it has gone easy for him all the time. Yeah, he's had to fight adversity many times. Yes, it's easy to say that I've gotten into a certain level, I'm going to make money, I'm going to do this. But he never does. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable to see somebody that comes from uh, coming from Cameroon to basketball, that boy that's just wanting to, um, uh, to participate in basketball and coming to South Africa to see his sister and then you go from there to actually even being uh, a superstar in the NBA, which I think that's what Pascal is becoming, you know, the most improved player uh, in, in the league. Um, how he performed in the playoffs. Um, this gives hope. It inspires all kinds of kids. It inspires all kinds of youth, uh, not only in the game of basketball, but uh, generally in life. And uh, it's a good place for us to be.
do what we do. Being fresh, like I'm, you know what I mean? I know you see the fat, you feel me? <laughs> he, he, he look a little sharp today, I don't know. I think, you know, he got a little, yeah, yeah, he, he look good today. It's all, he's all right. But the haircut though, I don't know. Oh, come on, boy, you don't want Just happy to be here, man, tonight. Um, exciting night. I mean, we got Larry in the building, we got Sly, everyone, so. It's definitely a fun event to, to, to be at, and, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Big signing. Pascal Siakam locked up, and Sherm, the Siakam signing, a big one for the Raptors going forward. Well, it is, and it's deserved. I mean, you think about what Pascal's been able to do in his time as a Raptor. He's helped this franchise achieve some goals that we haven't seen before. I, I use the term well-earned, well-deserved. Uh, he got a contract extension, and he deserves it, and I'm thrilled for him. This is a guy that's a self-made man. He puts the time in. No one's handed him anything. And he's had to come in, unlike a lot of guys in this league, that come into bad teams and they get handed minutes and they build up stats and they don't amount to anything. This is a guy that has come into a winning situation, has had to earn his stripes at the 905 level and at this level. And so every bit of success he has, he's earned and he's contributed dramatically, significantly to winning. So how do you not feel great for the guy? Because it's, it's one of those things you look at and you're like, this is a great story. What's going on, my brother? Yeah, you good? Right? Yes, sir. Everything good? Yes, sir. You ready for this? Yes, sir, yeah, man. You look no. good. Appreciate it, man. You got you got a little African. I, I should have went African, man. They didn't you would, man. advise. They, I mean, I, I don't know. They gave me some advice. Yeah, they, they told me. They told me. <laughs> they advised me to wear this. Like, this wasn't my pick. Can I take one with him? Come on. A special dude. He's good, dude. Right to play, man. My man, Larry. Larry. <laughs> Nice to stay How you doing, my man? Good, I'm, 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 my man, my man. Yeah. My man, Larry. My man, Larry. Spicy P. Yeah. 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 Spicy, Spicy P. P. Yeah. I know. We, right. go, we, got, we got time. We're going to hang out tonight. So you can't, you can't get rid of me tonight. I, we got to hang out. I don't plan to get rid of you for a long time. I got that. My man. A long time. You're going to stay. You're going to stick right with me. Yes, boy. sir. Yes, sir. I don't see any change. I mean, it's inevitable you change a little bit when you get money coming your way like that. But I think he's the same humble, you know, respectful guy. I, I, I could see him like keeping his his uh, group that he has, the small groups tight and small. I, I think it'll be hard to penetrate that. Um, seems like a really loyal guy. Um, but I, I, I don't see him becoming a diva. I don't see him becoming a rock star. I think he's going to be the same kind of guy that came here that nobody knew. Okay. <laughs> I always have, you know, little messages for, for kids in Africa, and, 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 and I like to tell them to just look at me, look at my story, um, for where I came from, to be able to, to be here tonight, receive this award, uh, be an NBA champion, um, just, just even having the chance to go to college and, and, and do all these things that I did, um, coming from where I come from, you know, it's, it's incredible. Um, so uh, any chance that I get to, to, to tell them to believe in themselves, to, to work hard, um, to, to never, like, to, to think that everything is possible, there's no limits at all, um, and they, they can definitely achieve whatever they want to achieve. Thank you, guys. Here's Pascal. 
Gal twisting, turning, and finishing. 23 points. A strong move. I don't know if they have anybody that can guard Pascal in this paint. Well, uh, you know, I, I've used this line before on the air. You know, the great Marv Levy, the Hall of Fame NFL coach, has always said ability without character always loses. And when you look at a guy like Pascal Siakam, he's got the package. He's got talent. He's worked really, really hard at that talent. And he's a high character guy. He's a gentleman. He's a good person. So how do you not root for a guy like that? You know, I remember him seeing him like, you know, at the camp and just from the first day to the last day, like he was a kid who got better. And you know, honestly, like the first day we never thought, you know, I always look at the kids and like, okay, who's the kid who's gonna be the one who stands out? And like he wasn't really like the guy who stand out the first day. And uh, by the last day, he was, you know, all-star, one of the best five players on the camp. And he's he's been the same way in his career, man. Like, you know, everywhere he's been, he's he comes in, and nobody really thinks anything of him. And then he ends up, you know, being great or one of the best. And I, man, I couldn't be more happy and proud of uh, what he's done and what he's going to continue to do, and what he means for for Cameroon and Africa, man. It's a, it's incredible to see guys like him with his attitude and his mentality to just get better and continue to grow. And I think, uh, you know, he's an inspiration for, for the game. He's an inspiration for basketball in Cameroon and in Africa. It has been uh, it has been amazing. I mean, Pascal is a champion. I mean, I would I'm, I'm sure if he would have told me that, I probably would told you. I don't know if he if he's gonna be there, but I know he's gonna be the best player that he can be. And I'm just uh, I'm just so so excited for him. And, and and Pascal works hard, so he deserves all the credit. Yeah, I mean, I work for Disney. You know, Disney owns ESPN. It should be a Disney movie, <laughs> like. Crazy. I mean, this guy could be a preacher right now, right? In Africa. I never have even come here. And he wasn't even like the best of his brothers. So the sad part is that, you know, his dad isn't able to see this. Uh, I know when he got his contract, when he went to go sign it, he was really emotional. Thinking about his role, thinking about, you know, five year anniversary of his father passing and wishing he could be here. And, I, I just think his story is remarkable. I mean, like, what, two years ago, he was averaging less than 10 points. I wouldn't have guessed this. I don't know that he would have guessed this, but he's an elite player in this league. 